All right, today we're finally configuring a machine. We decided to skip all those other things. If you've done the other videos before this video and configured those little pieces, you've got it under control. You can handle the rest. Let's get a machine built and let's put it to use, see what it can do. Today we are going to build the metal lathe and that is on start page 54 right now I'm gonna put up a list of all the items you're gonna need some of them will be the uh, motor pack which we had built earlier so I'm not gonna break down all those simple items you should have that motor pack if not refer to another video build a motor pack come back then watch this one there we go there's the list get your stuff together You got it? All right, good. So, we got all these items here. As you'll notice on my table, got four items that you did not see on the list. Don't worry about that. That's for a special thing I've got coming up. You'll see it later. Just make sure you got all the good stuff that we need now. All right, so this is our base unit. Doesn't matter which side you use for what. I think the sticker up front, pretty nice idea. And we need to put these two on there. This one is fixed and this one you want to loosen and slide back and forth to get the uh, tightness of the, uh, the item. So you can use this small increments and big increments so we will first put the motor on all right the motor has a problem if we we can't put this brick in here we could slide it through here but then the screw adjustment would be going all the way down that shaft they did not supply us with a long enough screwdriver for that so that's not how to do it we've got to remove the belt cover put this in like it should be with that square part up top over there so it doesn't fall all the way through nice and tight in there slide it in the grooves Line it up metal to metal right there so it looks all nice and clean. And then we can torque this back down and put it tight. So now you can put the belt cover over it. One thing that we could do is put the uh, sharpening stone on there to sharpen and modify your tool for the metal lathe. But we're not into that part yet so we're just going to put the belt cover back on and there that is now we've got that on there and we've got a good handle we want to put in this center tip here as you can see I brought the tool to hold that correctly instead of scrounging around for a screwdriver or so this tip fits snugly into this brass fitting don't get the one too big or have to stretch it to get it to work. And remember that tube goes all the way through so it just dropped right through. So let's put it in there, put it sideways so gravity doesn't suck that thing through. Put your end on. Hold this other end from spinning. I'm just going to go with hand tight on this. I don't think we're going to need that much. 
So there, we've got the motor assembly on. Next, we want to put the tail stuck on. But put the live center on it first. Makes it a little easier. Watch out, this live center tip pretty sharp. Don't drop it on your toes. And we've got the live center on. We're going to need another one of these. Make sure to have that square part sticking out. Slide it right in. Slide it on to this assembly. Slide your screwdriver in there and just tighten up to hold it in place so it doesn't come sliding down there while you got your hand holding here and pinch you in between those two points. You're going to want to move that for whatever piece you're working on. So that is simple. Before we put the cross slide on, uh, let's put the tool on the table. As it shows in the book, let me get this washer in. Put the tool right here. Look for the machined side right there. Want that up, angled in. It rides right along there with that milled part of the clamp holding it down. Now this, the screw is just right there, it's going to hold it or not. So you may want to get a longer one than I got. Just needs to be a tad bit longer. For the sake of your time, I won't go fetch another screw, just drop the uh, washer out. Torque it down. Good. All right. You know, if you want to learn more about metal lathing, I recommend uh, this channel, Adam97 or 79. I'll put a link to it in, well, a link up there, and a link to it in the description. This Adam guy, he's got a machine shop that he works in on Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday, Friday, and he's got a regular job where he's a machinist. And man, he's got a lathe, wouldn't even fit in this garage at his work huge lathe. If you want to learn anything about turning metal, about turning items, check his Saturday night specials out. Those videos educational and entertaining. When I first saw his videos and it said Saturday night special, I thought he meant guns, like he machine gun parts or something. I wasn't interested in that. Then I caught his video of him at work, and then I got more interested in watching the other videos and found out that that Saturday Night Special wasn't about guns. 
uh, you should check out his stuff. I think it's really neat. Link in the description. All right, back to work. We put those two clamps in there and we're going to slide them in here because we need this cross slide to hold the tool and work down the uh, piece that we're working on. We're going to have to move this cross slide table out of the way. centered. Screw in the clamps. Hold it still. Alright, one metal lathe built ready for you. So, the manufacturer sells separately a little plastic table piece to put this on. It's just a little flat plastic piece, three holes in it uh, to hold this because it's, it's kind of a little sketchy. Not going to sit right. Could blow over in the wind. Well, you've seen this board that I've been working on. I decided I threw uh, two holes, drilled those holes about the size of the screws that we normally use, countersunk two washers in there, and uh, it accepts nice and tightly two screws. By the table, it's a little plastic thing, $34 or so shipped to you, or you can do what I did. Grab an old piece of countertop, drill some holes in it, countersunk some washers so I can get it as deep for the screws. Down those grooves, tighten them up. Tighten it up for you. And there it is. It's mounted perfectly. You could make a little chip dam to hold all the pieces in, but at least it'll hold it together. You can almost dump them into a nice pile and keep your work area clean. All right, that is the metal lathe unit built, put together. Next video, we're gonna put it to work.